Hey, welcome back to another video. It is March 27th today, and it's still cold. Minus 20 at night, minus 10 during the day. There's lots of snow around still, but uh, we're gonna work on some equipment today. We've got some trucks to go through. It takes us, you know, a good month of uh, just going through equipment, making sure everything's ready for seating time at that May 1st kind of week. It's been cold, so haven't gone through the drill yet. Drill's still parked in the shed. Haven't spun that around and unfolded that yet, so that's why we got the shop. So let's go through a couple trucks in the shop. Fuel filters in uh, the uh, Western Star and my truck and then and then uh oil change in the western star Let's see how we do with that maybe give it a bath too i think i'm gonna do my truck first So that's the old one. I guess it is actually pretty dirty. It's over the interval, so it needs to be done. This is the new one. Yeah. And then this is the oh, this gasket. And then this is the uh, engine mounted one. engine mount is up here. I have to change that guy too. Now with the clips off, this comes out. There we go. Now for the fun part. Let's see if it starts. Turn the key on, should hear the pump fill the filters. Might take a couple uh, cycles of the key. Yeah, it's still pushing quite a bit of air. Try it. See if it fires. Hey! Check for leaks.
Should be good. One thing I picked up along with all my filters is this Milwaukee little uh, mini air compressor air inflator, which is supposed to be pretty cool. Uh, this is it here. First thing you do when you buy a new Milwaukee tool, you uh, take this little pamphlet and you just uh, throw it back in the box. So if you don't, and you open this pamphlet, and you can see all the tools Milwaukee makes. Then you think, oh man, you know what? I really need a table saw, even though I got one. Or I really need a hedge trimmer or a radio or an impact or anything. So that's why you just, or I need a new jacket because it's heated or whatever. So you just take that and you just put it right back in there. And then you grab your battery and put your battery in. And then you go check the tires, walk past the air compressor you already have. This threads on the valve stem. Fifty one and a half PSI, so say you wanted to inflate to fifty five. Kind of handy if you're uh, maybe you could go in the uh, uh, service truck or something. So, yeah, a uh, few tires to check if I wanted to do that. Okay, now this guy. Gonna roll Walt over. Old one, pretty dirty. New one. Feels like 55 newton meters or whatever foot pounds. Yep. There's one. Two of the three done, those are the fuel filters. This is the water separator, but I cannot get this nut off. They make a special wrench to match in these grooves and I don't have it. And I'm unable to get this off after several attempts. So I might just leave it. Let's go with the two fuel filters. I might just do that.
If it works, is it stupid? No. I'm gonna clean this up as best I can. It's pretty gritty on the outside, just from yeah, from holding on gravel and stuff like that. Just trying to clean it up. You fill that back up with fuel. This is your primer cap. You want to twist that? Oh. And then you start pumping. Seals going down, get the air out of it. This might take a while. I added a lot of fuel, and then the primer felt kind of stiff, and then it didn't. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it about a 12% chance of starting. For. Todd said, if you're going to change oil, don't make a mess. I said, you got it. Chuck's not going to get a bath today. The wind's howling in here. Click that exhaust fan in to get the fumes out of here. You can hear the wind. Tomorrow maybe. You'll get a bath tomorrow. Check for leaks. 
It's gonna crank for a little bit here until the air gets out fully. That's what it said online. Well, that's it for today.